Hello? Buttons, pressing all the buttons. All of the buttons have been pressed. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh, I got so much shadow on me today. Why oh, do I have so much shadow on me? Is it because of this on? Is this better? Is, is, it, is, is this better? How about this? Is this better? Oh! <laughs> that better? That better? We good now? We good now? No, we're too yellow. <laughs> All right, now we're good. We'll go with that. Hi, everyone. It is Sunday. It is 10, 10 p.m. We have one hour and 50 minutes to do things. So we're going to do all the things. First and foremost, though, I want to say thank you to some pretty amazing people. First and foremost, it's Julian and I love you for bonkers. Lol. Daniel, Triple O, Double Seven, and X Cremble. Thank you guys so much for the host. It is really appreciated. Uh, I didn't send out a tweet because we're only gonna be live for an hour and 50 minutes, so I hope you understand. Please don't hate me. Um, other than that, I think that's everything. Yep, that's everything. Alright, let's go live. <laughs> let's do things. Let's get into these games. We don't have much time. We have missions to complete. We have so many missions to complete. Because all the missions have come live now, so we've now started the um, the win for your house has gone back up. Watch MSI is up there. I should actually here. Let's, let's start that on the side. Let's watch something from MSI. Uh, here, yeah, that's cool. Mute that. Yep, cool. See you in ten minutes. <laughs> Basically, after I get out of this game. Oh, I love doing that. <laughs> Get all the stuff. Ten minutes. Bam! <laughs> Alright, so we have everything. Um, trying to think. So today we played some Shadowrun. And I I'm really am a big fan of Shadowrun. It, I, I am a little scared with 6th uh, edition coming out. Um, I'm afraid it's going to be covered with the same brush that most tabletop RPGs have been doing recently. Which is simplify, uh, streamline and simplify. And most of the companies that have done streamlining and simplifying, I feel, have taken the brush too far. Um, I think, personally, it kills some level of creativity. And I also think that, like, to a degree, by simplifying, yeah, you make it easier for new people to come on board, which is fine. I love new people. I will assist any new person, learn the rules. Uh, like that. My issue becomes, I honestly attribute my really good math skills, I attribute my really good... Like, anything dealing with math and, and just, like, developing logical problem solving and stuff like that, I really do attribute to uh, years and years and years and years of playing uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Because, like... I, I like I was explaining to my one friend 
back in like Dungeons and Dragons Second Edition, there was this thing called Thacko. Going back in the day, and Thacko was like this like multi-range like basically it was how you could determine if your character hit another character and it was a sliding scale and uh things would add and subtract to it and so you had like add additions and subtractions from both sides and then once you got all that done then you know once you completed your we'll call it task but once you completed it you were like all right cool this is what i need to hit armor class zero um or would I need to hit that armor class? And I found that like it made me have to learn math on the fly. Like you can't just sit there like I roll an 18. I need a seven to hit um armor class zero, but their armor class is negative ten. So what do I need to hit them? Can I hit them? You know, and, and like it would allow me to like go, all right, so this, 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 add all this stuff together, and bam. And I really did, like, I, I really do thank Dungeons and Dragons for that. But my fear is with this whole simplification is that next generation, the new generation of gamers, isn't going to have that. And it's not like it's optional rules where they could be like, I wish, what I wish systems would do would go, this is our main system. This is our main system. This book here is our intro set of rules. You can play the game on this intro set of rules. Mm -hmm. And when you become comfortable and you've learned the rules, if you want, you as a group or you as a GM can graduate to the more complex rule set. Now, of course, you're going to have the tables of people that want the really simple rules. They want to keep it easy because they want to just show up, hang out, you know. It's their time to hang out with people. Who am I up against? It's got to be whoever banned Jax. Which is weird. You know, we'll just choose Morgana. Screw it. Can't go wrong. Oh, wait, no, no. We own a page. That page. Yep. Okay. Yeah, cool. Close that. So is that Yumi mid? Is that going to be a Yumi mid or is that a Nami mid? That's weird. I hope it's a UB mid. I like my day. Really well. Um, but like, like that's what I wish. I, I wish that was the move that these companies went to. Is like, we have this simplified set of rules to streamline it, to make it simpler, simpler on the player base. That you have an introduction, a way to get into the game and did not feel as overbearing as 90, 90 books and all this other stuff, you know. So if you want to play the simpler base game, you can. And you don't have to worry about bloat or any of the other stuff that people complain about. You could literally just say, I just want to play the base game. Bam. Problem solved. Um, and then as you get better, you can do things. And let me tell you something. That already exists. You can literally just buy the core rulebook and just play with the core rulebook. Now, again, some of the core rules can be daunting, so on and so forth. I get it. But at the end of the day, that's why I said if you come up with a new book like the intro to Pathfinder or the intro to Shadowrun or the intro to this, you know, just it's a book. Put it out there for free. That's my suggestion. Put it out there for free. Don't even charge for it. Free. You like free? I like free. And you use that like like a gateway drug. You know? You just put the intro guide. It has a streamlined version of the rules. You explain in the front cover that this is a streamline of the rules. Um, that there are, you know, in the main rules set, you know, things are a little bit more fleshed out and more difficult. Yada, yada, yada. 
and just do that. Because if you do that, oh god. I walk away for one second and they die. Who got the kill? All right, Yumi didn't get the kill. Jin got the kill, which is problematic. Um, but like, and I think that would be a cool thing because then like Shadow, Shadow Run does a thing at the cons, which is called Build a Runner. Build a Runner is basically you get together, you sit down with someone who has a good master of the rules, and they help you build a character. And I always liked it. And then after you're done building your character, you play like a simple mission. You know, nothing too complex. It literally is just a simple mission that like takes maybe an hour. And I always liked it. I always liked that concept of the Builder Runner. Because it was a nice way to get into the game learn the game uh -huh. that's cool you know what's gonna happen to you soon girl I don't know if you know this but soon very soon my pushing power is gonna become much greater than your pushing power and you're gonna be eating turret shots for all your creatures. Shooter. Please. I think that would be a nice middle ground, is if they did that. Like, literally just develop a book, develop a introductory set of the rules with the entire guise of this is designed to teach people the beginning forms of the rules. You know, streamline, like, we'll, we'll talk about um, Shadowrun, right? You know, like, beginner's guide to hacking, you know? Where it's literally just that. It's just easy hacking. No, nothing nothing hard. And you can even come out with some, like, base level, you know, missions dealing with that. And again, much like those... They don't have to be long. Make them about the same uh, same uh, size as the Builder Runner. Like they literally don't have to be that long at all. Because you're just making them so people have an introduction. And by doing that, you would then have like I have a good way of getting new people into the game because the whole thing is like there's that concern about the new player audience you know like how do you get new players involved which I get it I get it as a developer you always want to look at the new way to get players involved in the game Don't care. I want you to know that I really don't care about you. You're Yumi. Battles bring out so many emotions. Uh huh. Cool. 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 Excuse me, 
Kha'Zix. They're actually here. All right, you caught me with no mana. Congratulations, it won't happen again. Like I said what's eventually going to start happening is my my wave clear is going to get stronger than hers. But now that I have some AP, things are going to start changing. We're gonna talk, cat. The next time you fly up in my face, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hit you with my Q. And I'm gonna hit you with my ult. Am I 250 now? Yes, I am. It says twice he's come from this direction. But I think, I honestly think, deep down in my heart of hearts, that's the way they should be approaching this. Is just be like... And a lot of people in like, especially in the larger communities, like Pathfinder, Shadowrun, have lots of people who are willing to volunteer their time. Because they love... They love what Pathfinder is. They love what Shadowrun is. They love tabletopping in general. And so, like, you could probably find someone that is willing to write a free module on, you know, like, for, like, a Build-A-Runner, you know, to, to get people into the game following the simplified rules. It's okay. Burn your mana. Wow. Really? Hextech? You're building pro protobeld? Okay. That's adorable. I mean, if you don't want to build mana regen, I'm not going to... I'm not going to force you to. me so much, Yumi. Please, no, stop, don't. Seventy-seven to ninety-three. As I said, my wave clear is going to start getting better. Yours is going to get worse. I'm literally just going to keep shoving her into tower. 
Because that's my goal now. My goal is to just weaken her out because she can't get CS. And get plates. Because I like plates. Give me a plate. I need a mana. Should have bought boots, but I'm being greedy right now. But like it's 83 to 97. I'm a whole CS up on uh, a whole kill up on her right now just by the nature of that. There's a quarter of your health. We have to get uh You didn't need any of that health, right? Kha'Zix is the is the big issue. He really is. Yumi is a non-issue. Kha'Zix zangs in the shit out of all the lanes. He's an issue. They're gonna get a bunch of turret plates. Hello. Night. Uh, level 10 to level 10. She's got two assists. I'm up 20 CS, give or take. We're going to be able to shove this wave out real hard. We need to get Morella Nomicons. If I get Morella Nomicons next, it's gonna shut down her healing. What now?
As much as I want to get Zonia's next, I need Morello's. Because it's really going to hurt her. We'll get Zonia's third, then we'll get Deathcap fourth. And then we'll see if anyone has any magic resist. Man, Yumi. Dude, Yumi doing so much. As someone who tried the... Uh, As someone who tried Yumi mid because reasons. Get that sweet, sweet gold. Damn. This is why I need to get freaking Morellos. They just have so much healing on their team. Alright, so now we're sitting on 32 AP or 32 Magic Pen. Blow that up. Ooh. No, not that. Ooh, no. Don't throw your weak lackluster ability at me. You don't get to throw your weak lackluster ability at me. They should be able to get that easy enough. Which means I should be able to get this easy enough. Okay, pushing up. Yeah. Let's put that there. 
Hey, Nami. Hi, Nami. <laughs> uh, why would you ever pick Yumi mid, bro? Like, do, 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 are you a glutton for punishment? Like, I know why I chose it. Because I was just, like, being a complete freaking tool waffle. Alright, let's go back. All right, so now we work towards Zonia's. Man, that that stinks for her. This is this is just sad. It really is. Cuz the only one who's making all this stuff work Is is not even it's not even her. Okay. You killed him, you got it. This is mine now. This belongs to me. Alright, this no longer belongs to me. Oh, man. Don't come over here. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> I'm trying to get to you. I, I deserve that death. I deserve every bit of that death. I went in with low, low mana, low health. My team backing off because they were low. Next dragon's a mountain. Problem we have is we don't have a Baron taking team. The problem they have is they don't have a Baron taking team. Well, I guess they could because they have Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix would do a shitload of damage on Baron. I'm coming, fam.
Man! That really stinks. You done got aced. Amazing what happens when you take away the one thing she's sort of good at, which is healing. Got my team now. All right, let's shove this up. Come on, Kaisa. It's so funny because like at the end of the day I'm I'm afraid of the people she's attached to. I am not afraid of her. Like don't get me wrong, she's got 15 assists. She's great for a support. All right, that's open. Next dragon's 30 seconds. How much should I get for this? 160. If I had 440, I would get this. You know what? Let's wait it out. It's close enough. Does someone have the thingy? Oh, yeah. Kaisa. Kaisa. <laughs> Kaisa. Oh. Excuse me, I'm gonna go get another dragon for us. You're a tanky little bastard. Ran after me, got nothing in exchange. Man, that has to be a sad day indeed. We have ocean, so. Guys, I want to help me get this. I'll help me get this. You could definitely get this a lot better than I can. There you go. Strong work. Good job. Oh, man.
All right, game's over. <laughs> game's over. Bye, Yumi. I have no clue why she would ever pick Yumi mid. Maybe it was one of those things like I did. Where it was just like, let me try it. Let me see. What's the worst that happens? We lose. Three three seventeen. I mean, she had a better KDA than me. But, like, I mean, her damage was decent. She was actually the highest damage on our team. That's interesting. <laughs> that's, that's both interesting and sad. That she was the highest damage on our team. What true damage was she doing? 1,800 true damage. What was she doing that was giving her true damage? Yo, what, 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 what did she have that was giving her true damage versus champions? I mean, unless it's the ignite. I mean, that could be the ignite. The, but Kha'Zix didn't have a knight. Um, I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> hey, hey Yumi. Hey, hey Yumi. I just, I just, I just want to point something out to you. I just, I just want you to hear this. You're a badass healer, right? You do, do some amazing, amazing healing. What, what's this? I healed more than you. No, that's not possible. That's not possible at all. I healed more than you. How is that possible? Oh, look at that shield. It's, my shield's even stronger than yours. Wow. That's, oh, look, look. Even Lux's shield. Lux. Lux's shield was bigger than your shield. That's that's awesome. Hey, Nami. Nami, who gets his, her shield? From a from from a ruin is almost better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I haven't checked yet. What's what is her win win loss ratio now? I got I gotta see. I've been, I've been watching it because like I'm always interested when new champions come out what their win loss ratio is. Because that usually gives you an idea of where they're at. Uh, so they're at 39%. Yeah, 39%. Most people are taking her support. Everyone's building cup on her, huh? Really? That's weird. I wonder why they're all building freaking Ath uh, Athene's Unholy Grail on her. I mean, her winning her winning combination is Athene's, Ardent Sensor, and then Magi's. <laughs> I guess I guess Magi's makes sense. All right, so if you're playing a champion who's